Hey, I'm Jamal from the Super Splash Bros, and we got a new video for you today. It's different from our regular videos because we don't have an actual full beer pong game in here. We're just going to give you some tips and tricks on how to shoot better, develop a shot, and get better at the game in general. So without further ado, here are six tips and tricks to help you become a beer pong champion. I hope you enjoy the video. We're going to go over four basic ways to grip the ball when shooting. You got the three finger grip, the two finger grip, the underhand grip, and the overhand grip. For the three finger grip, the ball is held between the thumb, forefinger, and resting on the middle finger. The release comes quick and will produce a little bit of a backspin on the ball. This is also one of the most common and popular ways to grip the ball. Next up, we have the two finger grip. Personally, this is my favorite way to grip the ball. The ball is held between your index finger and your thumb, and it doesn't produce that much backspin when you shoot it. So if you have a good arc on your shot, it will make it really easy to go in. It's also one of the most popular grips out there. Next up we have the underhand grip. The ball is held between all four fingers and your thumb. It's not a very common grip, but you'll see it out there sometimes. Last off we have the overhand grip. The ball is held between all four fingers and your thumb, and how do you release it is the way you flick your wrist. It's a very uncommon shot, but it also can be seen out there. Next off we're going to be going over stances. For all three of these stances you're about to see, you got to remember that you want to have your feet shoulder width apart and a little bit of bend to your knee. This is the regular stance. The right foot is placed slightly ahead of your left foot. You have a little bit of bend in your knee and you want to line your body up to where you are going to be shooting the ball. This is the goofy stance. Same within skateboarding or snowboarding, you're leading with your left foot. Same as the regular stance, but you're going to flip everything. You still want to have your body lined up with where you're going to be shooting. This is the free throw stance. Be sure to place both feet straight towards the cups and have them shoulder width apart. Make sure no foot is leading. This stance is good for either left handed or right handed shooting. There's also the leaning stance but we play with the elbow rules so we're not going to include that one. Here we're going to look at aiming. We're going to look at where in the cup you want to be focused on when you're shooting. Also we're going to look at different flight paths of the ball and arcs on your shot for making the ball go in. A lot of people say they just throw the ball up and don't aim, but the best thing to do is try to aim for the back of the cup. It gives the ball the best chance to go in. Here's the low arcing shot or the line drive shot. It's not the optimal way to shoot the ball, but some people do it. I find that it gives the ball a spin when it hits the cup if you shoot it really hard. This is the medium arc. I would say this is the best way to shoot the ball. When you shoot the ball with the medium arc on it, it gives the ball the best chance to hit the back of the cup. Here we got the high arcing shot or the rainbow shot. It's when you throw the ball really high up and it basically comes straight down into the cup. I enjoy doing this shot from time to time, but it's not for everybody. It's kind of hard to learn how to do, effectively. In this section, we're going to be looking at shooting. Where you'd want to release the ball to get your perfect shot off for it to go in. This is the quick release. It's not the best way to shoot the ball, but hey, it can go in. Steph Curry, boy. This is the late release. You don't necessarily want to release the ball late, but if you do, it can still go in. This is the mid or the normal release. You always want to try to release the ball in the middle of your shot motion for the best chance of it to go in. We'll go over some bounces here. Bounces aren't the easiest thing to get in, but with enough practice, you'll be banging them down in no time. But don't forget, bounces could always get blocked. This is the mid-tail bounce. This is where you want to bounce the ball if you're going to even try to bounce it. Here we got a far bounce. It's easier to be blocked because they'll hear it coming, but it still works. This is the close bounce. You bounce the ball as close as you can to your opponent's cups, and it's also the hardest one for them to block. This is target practicing. You'll be putting together your grip, stance, aim, and your shooting all together in this, so everything we learned previously in the video, this is where it comes in handy. This is target practicing. Every cup on the table is numbered from 1 to 10, so you and your partner are going to be calling the cup before you shoot it. If you don't get into the cup you call, it doesn't count. Four. I hope you enjoy what you just watched. The main thing now, you just gotta practice. You gotta practice, 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 because the more you play, the better you'll get. So put everything together that you learned from this video and develop your own shot. One other key to becoming good at beer pong is concentration and relaxation. You don't wanna get too stressed out because, you know, it's just a game. So, in the end, have fun. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below if you want to see something else like this. And don't forget to subscribe. And remember, keep on splashing. Thanks for watching the video. You can click either of the two videos we have on screen right now, 
or any of the links we have down in the description. Peace.